It's time for a Saturday stroll at Epcot Christmas time. Hi everyone, it's Herb from World of Walt, and welcome to yet another live broadcast from the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. Today, we're at Epcot, which is all decked out for the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. We're going to take a little stroll, see what's going on, see some of the Christmas decorations, hopefully. Thanks for joining me. It's a bit of a gray and overcast day here at Epcot, but not bad. Pleasant day. 73 degrees, going to be up to about 81. Very small chance of rain, so I didn't take an umbrella, which is probably guaranteed it will rain, but so far, so good. Wayne, hello to you from Long Island, and Debbie, hello to you as well. Karen from Virginia, how are you? Welcome. Karen shared. Karen, thank you for doing that. Appreciate your sharing the broadcast. It's a great way to get the word out. And a big encouragement to me. Thank you. Eric from Wichita, hello to you. So, you might be able to see under Spaceship Earth and in the far distance some of the construction for Moana Journey of Water and then even beyond that the new festival center which is being built behind the construction walls. So exciting that uh, there's continued progress here at Epcot. Been under construction, the spine here, world celebration for quite a long time. It's nice to see new things sprouting from the ground and not just demolition and uh, site prep. Sandy, hello to you. Hope you are doing well. Debbie, good to see you. Tom from Indiana, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to Epcot. <laughs> Wayne says, Joffrey's for the win this morning. It is a popular coffee spot, that is for sure. Hi, Tim Peterson, it is nice to see you. Tim, thanks as always for joining. You know Tim, he's official, unofficial marketing manager of the Pen of the Month Club. Basically means he's a nice guy. Elmer says, Milana will be epic. I'm actually very much looking forward to it. It's going to be a pretty big area. I think it's going to provide a lot of green, a lot of motion with the water, uh, and it's going to be something good for kids, I believe, uh, not having seen it yet, not knowing all the details, but that's something that Epcot could really use. It's just a place for kids to run around and have fun, uh, kind of like a splash pad on super steroids. Barbie says, how about a plug for the word of the day? Barbie, sure, happy to do that. Barbie is referring, of course, to World of Walt Fun. What's that? It's a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. Every single week, somebody's going to win something good. Pins, gift cards, merchandise, tickets. And uh, you can get some points just for watching today. How do you get points for watching today? All you have to do is appropriately text the word turkey. Just text the word turkey, 407-606-6780. Again, text the word turkey, 407-606-6780 to claim your points in World of Walt Fun. If you haven't yet signed up this process, we'll get you hooked up. Buffy, hello to you. Barbara was here a couple weeks ago. Hope you had a great visit. Debbie's got 33 days to go. That sounds like a New Year's Eve trip, as she was saying. going to be fun. Pack your patience. Christmas Day, New Year's Day, two of the busiest days of the season. Uh, but an exciting time to be here. Lots of energy, lots of uh, fun. <laughs> Okay, we're going to cut through the, um, the Starbucks location just to see what's going on and all the people who are getting their morning Starbucks fix. Karen says, Epcot is looking good. Uh, it is exciting to see new things coming to uh, life at Epcot. So including, including the creation shop, including the Starbucks here, the restaurant here, Connections Cafe. So yeah, nice to see new things opening up. Raymond, hello to you. It is a little overcast today. Nice day, though. And yeah, Starbucks is uh, doing a booming business, that is for sure. Barbara, hello to you in New Jersey. Heather said, so much Disney news this week. Yeah, so starting this past Sunday, huge news when Disney has exited the past CEO. Bob Chapek and brought back the former CEO, Bob Iger. That was a big, big move. Uh, I've gotten a number of people who have asked me for my opinions on it. 
Uh, personally, it will be interesting to see what's going on. I would not expect dramatic park changes with Mr. Iger's return. I think he's got some pretty big fish to fry in dealing with a new succession plan, trying to repair relationships with creatives and focusing on the financial issues at Disney+. Plus. That said, wouldn't be too surprising if he maybe throws a few bones out here, maybe even some things that have been in the works around uh, park passes or other, other announcements, but wouldn't look for anything huge in the very short term. Uh, that said, you never know. You just never know. Lisa from Chile, Indiana. Hello to you. Not too chilly here. I would say uh, 73 degrees, not bad. Annie is on her way tomorrow. Nice long trip. Looks like a couple weeks plus. Good for you. I hope you have a great time. Okay, here in the creation shop, it looks like we're getting ready for Christmas time. Let's take a quick peek at some of the stuff that's available. Oh, these look like Disney inspired cookie cutters. What a cool idea. It's like uh, Spaceship Earth, Tower of Terror, the Tree of Life, Castles. Very nice. Some little Mickey serving dishes. Fun. You can see some of the uh, Christmas time inspired displays and decor. Uh, okay. So if you need an overdose of cute, check out that little outfit. And this little outfit. Your uh, first time Christmasers would look pretty good in that. Heather, hello to you. Karen says, loves the cookie cutters. Very cool. Well, I got some Christmas ornaments out. That's fun. I like the uh, brightly colored Mickey's, Mickey heads. Very cool. Karen says, cast members are rock stars. It takes the people to make the magic. And they do a wonderful job of it. Oh, more Mickey-inspired Christmas decorations here. These are kind of fun. They sort of remind me of old-fashioned Christmas decorations. I think that's cool. They're very, very sparkly. Elmer's got his four points in World of Walt fun. That's cool. Uh, I like the, uh, I think this is probably a lady's shirt, but I like the, the print. How fun. Minnie Mouse giving a reindeer a big hug. How cool is that? Karen says, loves World of Walt games and products. Thank you so much for that, Karen. Appreciate it. There's some Christmas time for you right there on that shirt. That's fun. Tim says, Christmas in Disney is the best that it is. I think, for me, Main Street USA at Christmas time is like, quintessential Disney, just everything decked out, the music, the atmosphere, the fun, it's a good time. Uh, so if you are a lounge fly kind of person, these sort of mini backpacks here, pretty cool. Of course, what's the price on this? 85 bucks, yeah, okay, not so bad. All right, well, we got some Hanukkah stuff too, it's interesting. And your gift tags. And a happy Hanukkah shirt. Complete with dreidels. Very cool. Marie, good morning to you, and I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving as well. Tina got her points in World of All Fun, and Michael says, Is it time for the shameless plug? Michael, thank you. It's always time for the shameless plug. If you'd like a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Also, uh, you can get a link over to the t-shirt shop as well as a brand new gift subscription option. If you'd like to give the gift to the Pin of the Month Club, you can get links to all three of those things, the t-shirt store, the Pin of the Month Club, and also to the Pin Club uh, gift subscription by just heading over to worldofwealthstore.com. Cassie, hello to you. Thanks for being here live. Appreciate that. Michael said he missed the word of the day. Michael was referring, of course, to World of Wealth Fun, a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize bronze, where every single week somebody's going to get something good. And right now you can get points just for watching this video by texting the word turkey. Just text the word turkey 
407-606-6780. Again, text the word turkey to 407-606-6780 and claim your points in World of Walt Fun. Let's head out of the creations shop. Maybe we'll actually walk over and check out what's going on with Guardians of the Galaxy. A bit of a backtrack, but that's okay. Robert got his points for today. Thank you for that. Karen says, shares get herbs more Disney events. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate that. Thanks for your encouragement. All right, we're sort of in front of test track right now, but I'm going to, well, yeah, let's see what time it is. 10.15, we've got time. So I'm going to backtrack. We're going to see what's going on with Guardians of the Galaxy. And we'll be check out the wait times for Mission Space, for test track. And then we're going to head back towards World Showcase and check out the Christmas tree there. Gwen liked the merchandise. They got some nice stuff out. That's for sure. Jennifer got her points. Heather said, store's not too crowded right now. This is true. It's not. Karen says, an ornament club. Karen, I have thought about that as well. Um, could be. You know, that's on my list of could be in the future. So Disney ornaments. Uh, the people at the Disney Days of Christmas store will probably uh, get sick of me being in there. Uh, but I have been a little bit concerned just about um, being able to ship things safely and at a reasonable price. But you never know. I might be able to work something out. <laughs> Karen said, how about a cookie cutter club? <laughs> That's fun right there. That's a fun idea. Oh, it looks like the janitors are coming out. we got it to stop and, and take a look. Oh, it looks like complete with Christmas time hat. Heather Road Guardians of the Galaxy twice. Loved it. It was great. Rosemary, hello to you in Pennsylvania.
Okay, this was the second one. That's right. So you've got to hear everybody go, huh? Oh. Oh. Okay, all right, now let's hear the huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, great. So all right, so we're going to go after three. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, you're in the show. It was just made up. Watch for your cue.
sharing your day here with us today at Epcot. Have a great time in the park. You've been looking to be at Epcot. Cheers! That was fun. They were doing a great job. There were some little kids that ran across the uh, front of the breezeway, the walkway there at the very end. They were really cute. Okay, let's go see what's going on with Guardians of the Galaxy. You can see in the distance beyond the monorail beam the former Wonders of Life Pavilion. It's supposed to be the Play It Pavilion. Now, it just seems like it's quiet could be a, a victim of cross-cutting. Emily got her points in World of All Fun. Emily, thanks for playing. Go ahead and share the word for today. The word for today, of course, in World of All Fun, the game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. The more points you've got, the better your chance of winning. And every single week, somebody's going to win something good. Pins, gift cards, merchandise, tickets. And today, you can get points just for watching by texting the word turkey. Text the word turkey to 407 606 6780. Text the word turkey 407 606 6780 to claim your points. If you haven't yet signed up, this process will get you hooked up. All right, Guardians is looking nice. Nova ship here. Looks great. So, the virtual queue, which I actually tried to get in this morning, and because I didn't start the app up at 658. I was locked out by 7 o'clock in 40 seconds. Virtual queue was full. Got to be quick on the app. A lot of folks here getting ready for their journey. All these Terrans. Jody got her points. Jody, thank you for that. Tony joining a little late from Missouri. Nice to see you, Tony. Better late than ever. Thanks for being here. Ship looks good. All right, we continue on. Jody says, how was my Thanksgiving? Jody, it was terrific. I had a wonderful time. I uh, ate too much stuffing, but I guess that's what Thanksgiving is about. My family put together a really nice meal. It was great. Dan, good morning to you. Melissa says, pin plug. Melissa, thank you. So, some of you might be out shopping this weekend. I don't know, it's been known to happen. And here at World of Walt, we got three great options for you. We've got the t-shirt shop. We have the pin of the month club, where you can pay each month. And we have a gift subscription. If you'd like to gift a pin of the month club subscription to someone for either three or 12 months, and you can get links to find out more information about all three of those options at worldofwaltstore.com. Again, that'll take you over to the t-shirt shop, take you to the pin of the month club, and also give you the option to be able to purchase a gift for someone else, a subscription to the pin of the month club. Check it all out, worldofwaltstore.com. So the uh, Play It Wonders of Life pavilion looking good there, but uh, definitely blocked off no news on if, when, or how that pavilion might come back. Uh, you know, I heard someone make a comment that it's been so long since uh, the announcement of the Play It Pavilion that some of the content they may have developed uh, might just be out of date because I think part of the concept there was supposed to be very interactive, which didn't really fit well with pandemic times, uh, and uh, sort of ever-changing. So maybe screen-based so that they could bring in the latest characters, the latest intellectual property. Uh, and now a lot of that intellectual property is sort of swapped around. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Jeff got an ESA subscription and got a free pin. Jeff, thank you for that. It was very kind of you. Your limited edition World of Walt Designs pin is on the way. Or was on the way. Jackie got some points. Jackie, thank you for playing. Five minutes for green. 45 minutes for orange. I guess this is the Thanksgiving Day weekend, so I expect to see long lines of big crowds. Bob, good morning to you. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Quinn said, Quinn said, Maelstrom was a favorite, but Frozen is good too. 
I do like Frozen. I think they did a good job. Uh, I think the animatronics are good. It's a fun story. It's characters you really connect with. So I know that lots of people, including me, maybe had second thoughts about adding more and more characters into Epcot. But, you know, all things evolve. Walt himself said it's not a museum. It's going to change. Got to give the people what they want. And I don't think anyone was uh, booking a trip to come to Epcot for Maelstrom. Maybe some people. I might do that, actually. But I know a whole lot more people are going to book a trip to come and see Anna and Elsa. So, there you go. Monorail going by. Looks good. So, it looks like test track... 60 minutes. Not so bad. It's a good long wait. Teresa, hello to you from Philadelphia. Nice to see you. Chip said, excited to see that Bob Iger is returning. Yes, that was, I mean, in a way, expected, in a way, maybe unexpected. So, just this past summer, the Disney Board of Directors had uh, extended Mr. Um, Chapek's contract to the tune of something like 20 million bucks over a couple of years. So they definitely gave him a vote of confidence. But it seems like things just changed after this last earnings report, which many people described as disastrous. The company lost huge amounts of money. And while Disney Plus subscriber base continued to grow, which is a key metric for Disney, the losses were just tremendous. So, maybe the biggest surprise of all of it was the return of uh, Bob Paycheck. Excuse me, Bob Iger. That uh, was a Freudian slip right there. Uh, Bob Iger, yeah, the former CEO, who tried to retire about four times before he actually did, and now he's back for two years. It'll be very interesting to see what sort of changes he made, uh, but as, or will make. But uh, as I mentioned earlier, as a Disney Parks fan, I wouldn't count on immediate dramatic announcements around the parks. I think that Mr. Iger has his hands full in dealing with succession, so he's probably going to be moving folks around, getting them ready to potentially be the next uh, CEO. I think that's going to be something we could well see, um, even though it's not going to necessarily impact our daily guest experience. I think we'll probably see him having lots of lunches with uh, and breakfasts with creative folks to try to make them happy because he understands the fact that the company's lifeblood is its creative process. I uh, also heard an interesting rumor, which has been a rumor out there for a long time, about the potential of Disney um, being acquired, which on one hand seems just sort of crazy because Disney is such a huge company. Uh, but on the other hand, there are companies out there that are huger and could really use what Disney has, which is content. It's uh, entertainment. And Apple seems to be the one that everyone mentions. So I think a tie-up between Apple and Disney would be really fascinating. Uh, it would certainly give Apple some of the, the content it needs for its Apple Plus streaming service. Uh, it would give Disney some very deep pockets because Apple basically prints money. Uh, but that would be a huge, huge merger. I'm sure the government would want to take a very close look. Darlene, hello to you. Niagara Falls, Canada. Beautiful area. I had a chance to visit the falls in the past. Cindy's asking for the word of today. Cindy, happy to share that with you. Cindy is referring to World of Walt Fun, a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings where every single week somebody wins something good. And right now you can get some points just for watching this broadcast by texting the word turkey, 407-606-6780. Again, text the word turkey to 407-606-6780. Uh, you'd think I'd never said that before, uh, to claim your points. So Epcot International Festival of the Holidays going on here. It's always kind of fun to see the different signs from the different countries, the different Christmas decorations. We're going to take a stroll down here towards World Showcase and check out the Christmas tree, which I think is always pretty cool. Robert says, thanks for the stroll around Epcot. Robert, it is my pleasure. David, hello to you from Edmonton, Alberta. Nice to see you. Thanks for, for joining me here. We probably have slightly warmer weather here in Orlando. I don't know for sure. 74 Fahrenheit here going up to about 81. An overcast day, but actually very pleasant. We don't have a whole lot of gray days like this here in the Sunshine State, but uh, not bad. 
Karen's got 10 days to go. Jeff, hello to you from Buffalo, New York. Says, always great to watch. Thank you for being here. And you can see the huge Christmas tree is up. Always fun to take a look at the ornaments. Very interesting. HR says, La Halle is just a short jaunt away. Yes, I can hear some French pastries screaming my name right now. Shirley, thanks for sharing the word of today in World of All Fun, which is turkey. Susan, good to see you. Hope you're having a good morning down in South Florida. Always appreciate your joining. Debbie says, loves to stroll around Epcot no matter the weather. It is a beautiful day. That's a nice shot right there with the, the live trees on the side and the Christmas tree in the middle. Looks good. Kelly says, a beautiful tree. That it is. Phyllis, 46 degrees in Long Island, New York. Sounds chilly. Very happy to bring you a little bit of Florida sunshine. Well, Florida overcast, I guess, but still nice. Heather says, can't wait for the Festival of the Holidays food booths. Disney has been releasing a lot of information about the various uh, food offerings at Christmas time. A lot of good stuff. It's fun to see the uh, different ornaments with the country flags here. And the different Christmas greetings. Tony says, was here last week and already miss it. Hope you had a great trip, Tony. Susan's got 84 degrees. That's nice. Cindy says, love seeing the Christmas trees. Me too. Almost seems like uh, Christmas time snuck up on me this year, but it is good that it is here. Barbara says, any news on the Reedy Creek situation? So Barbara's referring to the Reedy Creek Improvement District, which is uh, a, a quasi-governmental agency. It's a governmental agency, actually, that was created um, uh, based on Florida law back in the late 60s uh, so that Disney effectively could have kind of its own government. Um, it's not unusual. There are improvement districts in a lot of different places. I actually happen to live in Celebration, where it has an improvement district as well. Um, which was sort of set up by Disney before it was spun off. But anyway, the, the, the Reedy Creek Improvement District builds a lot of the, and manages a lot of the infrastructure for Disney. So things like uh, parking, streets, electricity, water, I think electricity. Um, so yeah, so there's been a big kerfuffle about potentially removing the Reedy Creek Improvement District. Um, some people say it gives Disney an unfair advantage, but I would say they, they were smart, you know, at the time in getting what they wanted. So there is a, a law that's been passed in the Florida legislature calling for the dissolution of the Reedy Creek Improvement District. Uh, a lot of questions about what that means as far as taxes for the local community, uh, the infrastructure that Disney owns and operates. So a long-winded way to say, don't really know yet. Uh, I suspect we'll get some sort of a, a mutually agreeable solution to the whole Reedy Creek Improvement District deal. Uh, we're just not there yet. Shane, hello to you. I believe uh, I agree with you. The Christmas tree it does look great. So the stage for joyful uh, celebration of the season is set up over here. You might be able to see it beyond uh, beyond the shrubbery. So joyful. I actually love this performance. That happens each year. Uh, sort of gospel music, uh, Kwanzaa celebration, Christmas Christmas music. A lot of fun. Um, so maybe I'll have to see if I can get a, a live broadcast in. It looks like the area is sort of roped off right now. Looks like 115, 233, 25, 4 or something. So looks like performances this afternoon. Emily says, have we had a shameless plug for the Pin of the Month Club yet? Uh, you know, I have, but I never run out. There can always be more. I'm uh, happy to share one with you right now. Thank you for prompting it. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. And, you know, if you might be doing some shopping this season, which I know has been, uh, you know, something that happens on occasion, uh, I've got three options for you, which you can check out over at worldofwealthstore.com. There's a T-shirt shop. 
Uh, and the nice folks at Tee Public are running lots of sales these, these days, as most people are. Um, there's the link to the original Pin of the Month Club, where you can pay monthly. And then there's also a place where you can buy a gift subscription and send it to someone else and pay in advance. So you can get all the links over at worldofwaltstore.com. <laughs> Tony says, I'm so shameless. It, it's true. It's true. You got you to gotta say what you're offering, right? So there you go. All right, we're going to take a little stroll back towards the front of the park. We'll go past imagination and the land and the seas. Christine, uh, is it a walkthrough today or have a ride? So today just a walkthrough. I actually did try to get a virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy, although I don't think I can actually do a broadcast. Um, I don't think Disney, for safety reasons, would allow me to be holding up a phone while I'm whizzing through outer space. And, uh, you know, the Lightning Lane passes and the Genie Plus prices, now that they are variably based, um, have gotten to be, well, really expensive, especially this time of year. So it just becomes a little, a little pricey. Janet says, loves the landscaping. It does look nice. Now here's a, here's a view right here. Monorail's going by with Spaceship Earth in the background. That looks good. And you can see just underneath the monorail beam on the left-hand side are the girders that are going up for the new festival center. So the original design for the festival center was this very beautiful, uniquely designed round building that was going to be in that general location. Uh, three stories, it's supposed to have a garden on the roof. Um, it's going to be sort of the new home for all things um, celebration, all things festival related at Epcot. Uh, but then the pandemic happened, financial changes came along, and the new festival center is going up. Um, so it's that it's going to be more of a squarish sort of building. It will mirror the look of the former Communicor the buildings and now the Creations shop um, that is opposite it. Uh, so, yeah, not quite as uh, advanced a design, I would say. They, they probably went a little simpler, a little cheaper. Um, but at least we're getting something there. And uh, Disney, I think, could probably use the space when it comes to all things festivals here at Epcot. Arlene said, gorgeous view. It did look really good there. <laughs> Judy said, hello, Epcotians. It's fun to hear all the Christmas time music here. <laughs> Tammy said, new t-shirt idea. Herb saying is shameless plug. <laughs> I like that idea, actually. Kind of an inside joke, but it's sort of fun. Time for a shameless plug. There's a, there's a t-shirt in there somewhere. All right, the uh, holiday kitchens are out and decked out for Christmas time, looking good. But today, this is more of a stroll in world celebration, world nature, world discovery, as the new front of the park is now called. Patty, good morning to you. Hope you're having a good day. Happy to take you on a little stroll here around Epcot. <laughs> Robert said the t-shirt must include her hat. Excuse me. I like it. Have you heard of that, uh, my, my signature floppy hat? And the saying, time for a shameless plug. Sue said she would buy one of the t-shirts. Okay, uh, I, I like it. Uh-oh, Carla says the video keeps freezing. Sorry about that. Sometimes the technology gremlins are out in strong force, even if I'm outside. Faith, hello to you from Vermont. Hope you're having a great day. Kathy, good morning to you. Susan is a fan of Spaceship Earth. It is an iconic structure. It's beautiful in its design. Tanya says the scenery looks amazing. Decorations are beautiful. I agree with you there. Bruce says he's got a good broadcast signal. That's good. Thank you. And Kathy, good morning to you in New York. Hope you are doing well and having a good day. 
Judy is sharing the word of today. Judy, thank you for that. Judy is referring to the day, in, uh, the word of the day in World of Alt Fun. World of Alt Fun is, of course, the game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. The more points you got, the better your chance of winning. And right now, you can get some points. And if you're the winner, you might get a pin, a gift card, tickets, merchandise. All you have to do is text the word turkey. Text the word turkey, 407 606 6780. And text the word Turkey 407 606 6780 to claim your points of World of Wealth Fun. Spark your imagination. Okay, speaking of imagination, the Imagination Pavilion. Looking good. Although I think the outside of those glass pyramids could use a little bit of Windex. I'm sure that's just the effects of time and weather. We'll see what the wait time looks like. I think the wait time for Journey into Imagination with Figment is kind of an interesting indicator of the crowd levels here at Epcot. Typically, there's a very low wait time for this attraction, five, 10 minutes, very, very typical. People are off doing the other things which are newer and exciting, things like Guardians of the Galaxy, things like Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, things like Frozen Ever After. But for all its uh, controversy, all its mixed emotions, I still like imagination. I think it's fun. I think it's cool to see Pigment, who, by the way, now has his Christmas time sweater on, I have seen. So let's look, see what the wait time is like. Matthew, hello to you in Asheville, North Carolina, beautiful country. Debbie, hello to you in Riverside, New Jersey. Hope you're having a good day. Chris, howdy to you from Texas. Okay, 15 minutes for Journey into Imagination. That's not bad at all. So, just means that Epcot is not super packed to the gills. Continue our stroll. We're going to head past the land. Actually, something else I need to do now that it's Christmas time is go on living with the land because it's decked out for the Christmas season with Christmas lights throughout the gardens, which is kind of fun. It's a nice little plus. Jody said, any news on annual passes? So we did learn this past week that Disney is not going to release Walt Disney World annual passes in 2022. Uh, which I can kind of understand as the busiest season, so um, people might have a hard time getting park pass reservations anyway. So no park uh, annual passes for the next couple months, but I would say it's possible that after this it could happen. I just don't know. Matthew, still dreaming about the Fry Flight from Food and Wine Festival? Oh yeah, that was a very popular offering. French fries, good thing. French fries made up in uh, different styles. That's a great thing. Sue's got 40 degrees. Tony, crystal, Christmas overlay with living in the land is beautiful at night. It is definitely it's kind of fun. That's sort of one of those little magical touches that Disney does well. You know, it probably didn't cost them millions of dollars. It's something relatively simple, but just fun. Kind of pluses up something you already know and like. A lot of people coming and going from the land. I'm sure, Soren is very popular today. Paul says, I've been in the lounge in Imagination. That is great. That's a spot I have not been in myself, actually, for uh, Disney Vacation Club members. Nice little perk for being a member of the club. Heather's fun walk and chat today. Heather, thank you. Appreciate your being here. Thanks for the nice comment. Always happy to bring you a little bit of Disney fun and uh, very thankful that you're spending some of your Saturday with me, either live or recorded. Uh, do try to put a post of this back over to YouTube, um, as well as back to Facebook if you can't catch it live or can't catch all of it live. 
Uh, Jeffrey says, Soren is 60 minutes. Yeah, that's a good long time. So as, as always, I've got a lot of things to be thankful for, but one of the things I am thankful for is you. Thank you for being here, for spending some of your time with me, for liking, for commenting, for sharing. Um, it's because you watch, because you subscribe to the Pin of the Month Club, because you visit the website. Uh, sometimes I get to do some fun things with the nice folks at Disney Media Relations, uh, including just a couple weeks ago I had a chance to see a cast preview of Fantasmic, even though it kind of got rained out halfway through. Uh, but those things are a thrill for me, and I love sharing them with you. So thank you for being here and being a part of it. Okay, you can see these either lights or trees for Moana Journey of Water, sort of the white curved posts. Still wrapped in plastic, uh, but there's progress going on, which is great. Someday, these construction walls and world celebration here at Epcot are going to come down, and it will be a glorious day. Probably by the end of next year, I would think. We should have a festival center, we should have Moana Journey of Water, should have the new statue of Walt at Dreamer's Point. <laughs> Janet is saying, mine, 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 which is always kind of fun. Tony says, thanks for donating my Saturday mornings. Tony, thank you for that. It's my pleasure to be here. I have a lot of fun sharing the live broadcast with you. Jeffrey says, Moana Journey Water is going to be beautiful. I think so, too. Really looking forward to seeing it. Scott, guess on when the train of the Magic Kingdom is going to open. Yeah, so active testing going on, which is good. So it seems as if the track is, I think, complete at this point. You know, it wouldn't surprise me to see it at maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe around Christmas time, maybe shortly thereafter. Uh, because there's so much testing going on right now, um, I, think it's, I think it's close, but maybe not quite eminent. On one hand, I think that Disney would probably love to open it up in time for the busy Christmas time season uh, because there will be huge crowds. Disney needs things for those crowds to do. Uh, the train, I think, will be especially um, popular upon its return because people miss it and it hasn't been around. Uh, but that said, opening something during the busiest season uh, can be a little tricky. Normally, you want a little bit of time to break things in, uh, take it easy, uh, give give the cast and uh, the crew time to sort of adjust. So I'm, I'm of a mixed mind on it. On one hand, I could see why Disney would want to get it open for Christmas. On the other hand, I could say they probably want to to wait until maybe after the busy Christmas season to, to break it in slowly. Uh, that said, there's still the wild card of the impact of the Tron construction on being able to open up that uh, train so the, the exterior construction on the Tron bike cycle run is getting there, uh, but hard to say specifically how Disney might be constrained in its ability to uh, run the train while it's still an active construction site. Agnes says, loves the Saturday strolls. Thank you so much for being here. Karen says, wants the train to be safe for sure. Safety number one service standard here at Disney. Safety courtesy, show efficiency and inclusion. Inclusion just added recently. But safety is number one and for a good reason. Kim said, if they could open up Tron in just 62 days, that would be great. I hope you do get an opportunity to experience it during your next visit. I am very much looking forward to it. 62 days, I don't know, yeah. Uh, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it. I wouldn't count on it. Sandy says, thanks for an exciting, or excuse me, relaxing walk. Happy to do that. Debbie said, a great way to start the day. Debbie, thanks for being here. Susan, thank you as well. Thank all of you. I thank all of you for uh, spending a bit of your Saturday morning with me. Uh, taking a little stroll around Epcot, Christmas time decorations, checking them out. Sort of a overcast day, but still a great day to be here at Epcot. Shane, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving as well. Karen says, loves the sounds of the fountain. Me too. Terry says, thanks for the stroll. Best part of Saturday morning. That's very kind of you to say. Thank you. All right, everyone. I hope that you have a wonderful Saturday. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. And um, I appreciate your spending some time with me. Uh, thanks, as always, for the comments, for the likes, especially the shares.
I wish you a wonderful weekend, and until next time, God bless.